The next gen switch, aka the 4K switch, whatever this is, being reported by Bloomberg, is becoming potentially more real. Now, there's going to be two sides to the story on this, but uh, it's going to be an honest conversation about this platform. Uh, we've already talked about how it's technologically possible, especially with DLSS 2.0 from NVIDIA and the Volta tech we know is going into new Tegras and all that jazz. But before I get into it, I got to remind you of our two giveaways. We are giving away a Switch Lite and two games of choice. So Switch games of choice to two other winners. So three winners total. So grand prize of Switch Lite, then second, two second place winners get a game of choice for Switch. To enter, go down to the description. There's a whole bunch of ways to enter. Uh, the primary way that gets you the most entries is subscribing to the channel and then joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. Uh, doing that will get you uh, 15 entries. Subscribing will get you 10. But there's other things you can do is like, comment on the video, all that jazz. All right. So the second giveaway is for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, baby. Head down to the description. Uh, there's a Gleam Dent link to enter that. Also, if you uh, join our Patreon, you get an additional 15 entries for that, too. Okay, cool. Cool story, right? Giveaways galore. But what about the Switch Pro? Or the next-gen Switch? Or whatever it's called. What's going on with that? Now, we know about the prior report about Bloomberg uh, and Takahashi, uh, the reporter over there, talking about... Uh, having developer sources on this product existing and coming next year. This is in addition to other sources he has had in manufacturing saying this product exists and is coming next year. And the, the claims are quite, you know, massive. We're talking 4K output. We're talking new screen technology, all that jazz. Now, the new screen technology we factually know is probably a thing at some point because Nintendo has a contract with IGZO Displays, which is not currently the company that makes switch displays and the technology that IGZO has enables basically low power draw 1080p plus displays etc so i kind of figured that the next switch whatever it is uh, a more powerful one will feature a 1080p display over the 720. now what makes us have another video on this topic after having one earlier today is actually the makers of monster boy FDG Entertainment. So they put out a tweet yesterday saying, we're happy to confirm that Monster Boy gets an update for next-gen consoles to support 4K 120 F uh, FPS signal on over HDMI 2.1, uh, and then they tag Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, and PlayStation 5. Okay, cool, makes sense. An indie game supporting that, even supporting that on the S if it can output 4K, is pretty good. But a person responds named Robert Lamb, says, damn, I have the Switch version. Looks like I gotta hunt down a PS4 copy. To which FDG Entertainment, that's right, the makers of Monster Boy say, who knows? Maybe Switch also has some next gen hardware in the oven. And then the emoji with the eyeglass over it. <laughs> the teasing's real. Is FDG Entertainment one of the companies that actually has access to this next gen hardware? I don't know. It's something to think about. Now, it's important to note that not everyone would have access to next-gen hardware. Uh, MVG is a fellow YouTuber. He also has access to the dev area because he's made games, uh, and he's talked to other devs, both big and small. He's claiming over on Reset Era that this doesn't exist. He says, first post here, he says, I'm a registered Nintendo developer, and I talked to many dev friends, both large and small, about this. This 4K story doesn't make any sense. Someone sold Takahashi a bunch of lies. He later clarifies that this is just from what he's heard, he, he can't really, you know, confirm or deny it exists, but uh, he doesn't think it exists based on who he's talked to. However, it needs to be noted that when it comes to new hardware, Nintendo is extremely tight-lipped about it. Uh, Nintendo does not give all developers equal access to software updates on the back end, developer tools on the back end, or hardware access at the same time, especially for a yet-to-be-announced piece of hardware. Uh, this has been true for Nintendo for a long time. It is why, if you actually didn't know, developers didn't know about the new Nintendo 3DS until after Nintendo announced it. So when Miyamoto went out there and outright lied to the public saying that they were not going to release new 3DS hardware, and then one week later they announced the new Nintendo 3DS, that was a lie, Miyamoto told, because they weren't ready to announce the hardware. There were no developers coming out saying that hardware existed. Because they didn't have it. They didn't have dev units of it. They didn't have software for it. Not yet, anyways. Now, you know what Nintendo did? They ported Xenoblade Chronicles, all that jazz. But the point is that 
Nintendo does not give access to new hardware and the developer tools for it and the dev updates for it to everyone. They do not treat all developers equal because they want to prevent exactly what seems to be happening and that is leaks. Uh, now, just because we're hearing 4K output, just because we're hearing a new display, that, do that doesn't really get us into any particulars, right? We're not hearing, um, you know, about exact specs or, or anything crazy. Uh, if there's been a redesign, we're not hearing about anything like extremely detailed. We're hearing broad terms. Uh, but again, to hear even hear these broad terms from developers breaks NDA. So uh, whoever does have access to it, assuming that, you know, there, Takahashi has no reason, Takahashi Machizuki is his name, he's got no reason to lie. Uh, he's a very, very well-respected, uh, you know, writer for Bloomberg, used to work for the Wall Street Journal, very well respected, has a ton of context in Japan. He does a lot of Japanese reporting. So he's got a ton of context in Japan, uh, context that we can only dream of. And based on people I have talked to uh, here in the U.S., because I know a few developers, they don't have any access to a 4K switch, nor access to any dev tools that suggest one exists. However, they have told me about Nintendo hardware in the past and how things like the new 3DS did come out without them having access to any dev tools or any dev units for that platform in time to get anything ready for launch. In other words, this hardware could exist, but very few people actually have access to it on a developer side, which means very few people have access to the dev tools that could be custom shipped with this hardware and not included with base dev units. Now, yes, they do update dev hardware and tools all the time, but they could be purposely keeping this development update away from other developers so the details of the system, its specs, all that jazz, don't end up getting out to the public. Basically, Nintendo could be doing their best to keep all of this under wraps. Remember, they just dropped Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity out of nowhere without being a whisper that this game exists. There was not, there, there, there was not even a whimper. I think there was one 4chan post like a week ago that predicted it, but didn't get the name correct. So, in other words, Nintendo is very tight-lipped. Extremely tight-lipped. Like, we knew about Super Mario 3D All-Stars forever, but it took so long to unveil it, even though it suggested that game might have been a game that was supposed to be unveiled five months ago, including a whole bunch of other stuff. Never never covered that, but that's a real thing. It looks like Nintendo was going to do this, Mar this Super Mario 35th anniversary thing a long time ago. But that's neither here nor there. The point is that Nintendo, you know, took so long to talk about it that it almost became vaporware in many people's minds. Like, it didn't exist. And if it did exist, it's not going to be as spectacular as people want it to be. Which, you know, for some people it wasn't. But the point is, Nintendo's extremely tight-lipped, especially with hardware. I'll give you another example. The Nintendo Wii. Now, this is a, a new generation launch, so a little different. We did not know the Nintendo Wii was motion-controlled until Nintendo showed it on stage. There wasn't even a whisper of them using the patents that already existed for motion controls to release a motion control system. We had no idea until Nintendo told us. This kind of stuff is what stays under wraps. So even as you have some developers out there that are coming out saying, hey, this isn't happening, it's not a thing, you have other developers like FDG Entertainment when someone said, oh, wow, it sucks that I got the PS, you know, Switch version of this, I'm going to have to get a PS4 copy. And then you have them saying, uh, hey, who knows? The Switch might also have some next-gen hardware in the oven. Uh, it, it's kind of one of those hint, hint, maybe you don't need to go buy the PlayStation 4 copy because the Switch copy is going to be able to do this too. It's going to be able to do 4K. It's going to be able to do 120 FPS or whatever. Maybe not 120 FPS. It's probably pushing it a bit, but you know, 60 FPS, 4K, DLSS 2.0. I'm just throwing out there that FDG Entertainment's kind of hinting that this is a real thing. It's potential they might have access because Nintendo has worked closely with them in the past. Um, and so they could be one of the few, you know, Western developers that have access. And I'm sure there are some, uh, let's just say there should be some developers in Japan that have access. There's that rumored new Monster Hunter game coming. Could Capcom be one of them? I'm just throwing out there that uh, Nintendo, just because it's not available in the base dev software and hardly any Western devs even have remote access to this thing doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Nintendo has a history of doing this with upgraded systems in the past, even console reveals in the past. So 
Let me know what you think about this all down in the comments below because it's sounding more and more real the more the mystery becomes. It's like the devs that come out and say, oh, it's not legit, gets countered by another dev that kind of is like, yeah, you know, it, it's a thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, this is just a classic case in my mind of Nintendo limiting who has access to it. All right, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nintendo Robo from Nintendo Prime, and I will catch you in the next video.